I know that I'm a parent and didn't get much sleep last night because I have two different pairs of shoes on and I didn't realize it until I got to work today. Fun. All right, so if you ever want to experience Disney during Christmas, go to a Midwestern grocery store right before a snowstorm. Well, this is what the day is like today. Woo. Well, I guess we're gonna put up a bird feeder because that's what one of my kids has done at school. So let's see what we're doing in, uh, in the snow. We have the bird feeder installed in the tree. Uh, it's just up there with like a pipe cleaner. So it's about as good as I could do. I could just get it on this branch. Thing is, these icicles are pretty darn cool looking. They are pretty cool looking. I mean, you know, that's one of the silver linings of an ice storm. My stick is better than bacon. This totally wasn't a perilous setup whatsoever. No. <laughs> Step ladder in snow that fell on top of ice. No, that wasn't sketchy at all. All right, for a snowy day meal, we have a chicken tortilla soup. It's hot and bubbly and steaming up the camera. That was probably not the smartest thing to do right after coming in from outside in the snow. <laughs> All right, now that the steam has subsided, we've got some cut avocado, some tortillas, drips that good old wifey is cooking up. Am I wifey? Yeah, wifey. Yeah. Awesome wifey. Mm. That's what you are. And then we have Dirty Kitchen, and I have some lime and mango that I'm going to put in there. Woo! Well, the wife isn't so uh, fond of the old handlebar. Not sure what I think about that, because my, my facial hair actually grows really slowly. But obviously, I, I like my facial hair, so... I don't know. What do you think? Should it stay or should it go? Yeah, I'm driving across the dam. I can't see a damn thing. I totally got the wicked, never did my hair today hair. But uh, because I'm new to the vlog thing, I forgot to start looking at what I'm cooking for dinner since I'm doing kind of vegan vegetarian thing. So we're doing a, hey, get in the frame. We're starting our uh, sweet potato korma. We've got the onions and carrots and sweet potatoes in there. Got some... Uh, green beans and cauliflower and coconut milk and all that stuff so we'll see how it goes i got all the vegetables sauteing in here this is all looking good but then it wants me to make the korma sauce which it wants two cans of coconut milk i'm wondering if that's even going to fit in my pan once i get it all mixed together tomato I mean, it only wants this much tomato paste a little five ounce can so we're gonna see i'd say it looks pretty good smells great um just letting that simmer for a little bit while my rice pre-made lemon rice cooks in the microwave we'll find out how this turns out so maybe my wife has kind of a point with the mustache because eating this uh veggie korma stuff Definitely has some of the flavor saver moniker of it. Uh, it's definitely getting into these little scraggly bits in here. But it turned out freaking excellent. Can't lie about that. I'm a good cook when I have time, which I don't really have much of. So it's lunchtime, and when I was heating up my food, my leftovers from last night, I had a fork. And one of the prongs of the fork broke off in about a rice sized piece, which there's a lot of rice. I have a feeling I'm going to be ingesting plastic today. I don't know if it's just me, but I really feel like windshield washer fluid capacity in vehicles should be standardized. So I ran out and my windshield is really dirty because it ran out on the drive this morning and there's a bunch of salt on the road and everything like that. So I went to the auto store and got this. And it's obviously less than a gallon, but probably a little more than half a gallon. 
and you know I filled it basically right to the brim so car makers make this standardized I don't like having to haul around this jug if it's only gonna fill up my uh, tank ha halfway or something like that come on now